What about the children? To ignore is so easy. So many innocent children will choose the wrong way. Mm -hmm. This story. Where would we be? Hey, good morning, good afternoon, y'all. Good evening. Uh, welcome. Whatever side of the diaspora that you are, welcome to the mental house with me, your host. This story, y'all, really comes out of the uh, gates of hell. Um, and it's so it's so sad that uh, these children have been traumatized this way. And it's very important that I make a, a comment about people saying, oh, we'll step up, we'll take these kids, we'll take them. These kids need to have a bunch of extensive therapy before they get into your your house in your situation unless you're a therapist or a doctor or some healthcare professional because the story um about the death of this boy who's nine whose body was found in Houston it, it it's basically a house of horrors and in the body it was ruled a homicide Autopsy finds victims suffered multiple blunt force injuries before he was left to rot for a year in an apartment with his three starving brothers. Um, it's absolutely disgusting. It is insane. Um, three siblings and skeletal remains were found at 3535 Greencrest Drive in Houston. After police were asked to do a welfare check. I wonder who asked. Harris County Medical Examiner Office found nine-year-old boys suffered from multiple blunt force injuries and died by homicide. A 15-year-old boy called 911 saying his nine-year-old brother had been dead for a year and his skeletal remains were in a room next to his. The children were living in deplorable conditions and had likely been left abandoned for several months. A neighbor brought the siblings food and charged their cell phone after power was cut to their home, according to law enforcement officials. The children's mother and her boyfriend were located and interviewed by cops before being released. I, I, I'm, I'm not even going to. Connecting all the dots, it seems they were in there while the body was deteriorating, Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez said. Next door neighbor said she first noticed a foul order coming from the siblings' apartment 13 or 14 months ago and repeatedly complained about it. Homicide investigators, along with Child Protective Services, are also working on this case. Um, I'm trying to figure out why weren't the parents arrested. Uh-uh. 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 I don't understand this, y'all. Can somebody help me? Will somebody help me, please? Oh my God. This 15-year-old brother, and he had two surviving siblings, and they were living with a decomposing body for a year? Okay, this is the kind of stuff that doesn't make me have a lot of faith in humanity at all. 
Because if the if your mama could abandon you like this, if your mama uh, It said detectives in the Harris County Sheriff's Office questioned the couple before releasing them Monday, pending the outcome of a criminal investigation. Um, Child Welfare Services of Texas have also launched an investigation into the horror find at the apartment complex on the Houston's west side. Erica Chapman, who lives at City Park 2 at West Oaks Apartment, says she was among the people who had been feeding a malnourished 15-year-old boy, not knowing that he was living in the house with two little dead brothers. The first time I saw him, he was sleeping on one of the slides. Uh, I don't really know what to say about this. Uh, because, like I said, we we're as as humanity, we'll reach the all time low. We we don't care about our children, and we need a God to intervene in our mindset or whatever higher power, whatever you think is 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 able to lift you out of a wretched condition. We need that love poured on humanity because um, this type of stuff here. Reminds me of the girl, Mitchell, that put her kids in the freezer. I mean, these are mothers. These are women that gave birth to these children. <sighs> okay, I'm, I'm done. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm, I'm mental. So, enlighten me, please. Leave your comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.